This is a call of arms. Code red. Bring it on. I am an artist. Yeah. I create cycles. Others recycle what leaks. There's artists that are already made it big and platinum that are lesbian or gay. Trust me. Trust me. The reason why mainstream artists don't come out because there's no economic imperative for them to come out. If you want to make the big bank, you can't be an out artist. To be out in the hip hop community is um, it's a rebel position. It's um, human content that queer people and straight people can all relate to. Masculine, yet effeminate, educated, and yet ghetto. We're here, we make music, we perform, and we have things to say and contribute. To hip hop, hip hop. What's going on, y'all? It's the boy Rob B. Built from scratch, oh Mix. We here, Mix Cave, and I'm, I'm thinking of a couple of ideas, a couple of plans. And uh, today, I think the plan is to show you something different. And uh, we're gonna show you some of my folks over there in the LGBT hip hop community. You know, you thinking, what's that? What's, what's that? Lesbian gay, bisexual, transgender. Some people say it's controversial. controversial. Some people say it's, you know, da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. but you know what? Everyone's people, people are people. You know what? It's pride over prejudice. That's what I say. You know, in the LGBT, we got artists in there. We got DJs, we got MCs. I mean, it's real hip hop, man. We got my man, he, he manages artists and stuff. That's a real big community. But don't touch nothing. We about to get center stage with my man, JB Rap. He's a, you know, a true renaissance artist. I write about how life affects me. I write a lot about dealing with life from a very bold perspective. I think of my folks right there, Deadly. And uh, when I say Deadly, I, I, trust me, trust me, man. You don't want to catch this dude in the alley. I say it's dark, but to me, it's just more reality. You know, I don't like the fluff pop talking about, you know, your bling blings and all that. I just want, to, want you to feel. Check this out. We're doing it real big. LGBT, go from scratch. Let's do this right now. What's up, I'm Deadly, and I go AKA 2213 right here. And uh, I'm from Los Angeles. Check it out. How I got started in this whole hip hop scene. You know, it kind of started where I just wanted to do some music. I was working with a group, and um, they were kind of getting lazy, and I'm like, man, we can actually do something with this. And so I, I checked into uh, finding a producer, that had my kind of taste in music. He liked LL Cool J to Rage Against the Machine to Marilyn Manson. And I said, ah, oh, this sounds like the right producer. So we hooked up, uh, started working on some beats and uh, went from there. I can't be a good soldier. I can't be a... This guy, he told me to kind of be real. He said, that's what hip hop, you know, kind of started on is just being real with your stories. Because one of my first raps was I was kind of whack. I was talking about females and and, and drinking and and he knows that wasn't even me. I don't really get high that often and and I don't do females. So he's like, just be real. So I came out with a song called Homo Thug. My sound is probably here's the word. I hate this word, eclectic. I hate that word, but yeah. <laughs> but that's that's probably it, man. It's the calm before the storm. The reaper's wrath. I've been influenced by so many things from, uh, you know, some Marilyn Manson, Nine Inch Nails, to uh, Easy e to some of the female rappers that I used to like. So it's, it's just kind of me combining everything, and, you know, I just took it from there. I say it's dark, but to me it's just more reality. You know, I don't like the fluff pop talking about, you know, your bling blings and all that. I just want, to, want you to feel, you know, what, you know, how you're living and what's it like being an out gay rapper. And see, for a long time, I didn't even trip on it. Like when I first started, I wasn't even being out. It was just kind of, you know, I was just doing me. And it wasn't all about me being the gay rapper. It was just I was expressing myself through music. And I think other people kind of just want to label you and 
put something on top of you. And so while what I've done with that, after they did label me that, I said, I just kind of ran with it. So the second album, I said, let me just be the gay rapper. Instead of hiding it, I said, what would a gay rapper talk about? So that my second album, I with a deadly weapon. It's like, all right, this is me as a gay rapper. And music that I'm working with, with now, it's more just general, man. It's like, hey, what's it like to just be an artist free, you know, I've said what I have to say, all right? Yeah, I'm gay. Yeah, it's over with. You see what's up with me. But there's more than that. So now, you know, I'm breaking into movies. That's right, that's right. Pro club T, black love tattoos. That's right, that's right. Creased up dickies, that's how I do. That's right, that's right. Doing, uh, playing straight in movies and and rapping about females if it has to do with that. Just showing that I can, you know, I'm versatile. It's not all about just my sexuality. I've been in a couple movies. I was in this movie called Vengeance and I got killed right away. Dead Men Walking, I was in a, I was a zombie. And of course I got the virus, got killed right away, but I finally got my first big lead and it was called Hoochie Mama Drama. And on top of it, I played straight. So, uh, and I'm banging hoochies all day. I love this. <sighs> Yeah, you're gonna like this a lot more, eh? What's in store for the future? You know what? I just want to keep on striving. I want to act. I want to uh, just show that, you know, being out, gay, you know, you can do anything. Let me see, what else do I want to say to my fans? Just, uh, they're looking out for, you know, I do this mostly for for my fans because I, I started doing this because I worked with gay youth and and they were listening to Eminem who was trashing gay people in one of his songs. And I'm like, you know what? Watch me. I'm going to rap. Now I'm going to be on TV one day rapping and be open gay about it. And so I did this for the youth who, you know, they're out there being themselves and they just need more role models out there to see that they can even go further, you know? They don't need to let their sexuality stop them in any way. Switches up and down, drop the top, we off the ground, and me 